Action, the whole system. Now next, it's very important segment. You may be wondering how the patches work. Okay, today we are very glad we have three very awesome testimony sharers to share with you all how their body conditions has actually improved and is very drastically after using the patches for some time. Okay, the very first one, the sharer, currently he's unavailable because he's now in China, but he has given the instruction for us to share his testimonial. I'll get Jonas to share on this person. Jonas. Okay. Um, okay. So this uh, this person we could um, uh, he started uh, actually patching just you know a few months ago only. Um, now what happened was okay. Uh, let me just go up to the first slide. Uh, in January this year, okay, tenth of January twenty twenty four, he had to undergo a major surgery. Okay. So he. Uh, is a cancer patient. Yeah. Um, in fact, I think you know his colon cancer is stage four. So he was supposed to have, um, you know, he was actually scheduled, you know, to undergo this already. But he started using our patches before that. Okay. So this surgery was major. Okay. It was a seventeen-hour surgery. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, in the ICU, he, you know, he managed to. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know how he took a picture like this, but he managed to. Okay, day one. So what is really quite fascinating is this. Huh? Day one ICU. This is this. You know, I already said uh, it's a seventeen-hour uh, surgery. So how long do you think uh, you need to stay in the ICU? Yeah. Okay. So that's the first question. Okay. Yeah? So this is day two. Now, what was amazing uh, in day two was um, because he told the doctors and the nurses uh, that he was well, and they said, "Ah, you sure?" They said, "Yeah, I can even walk." So they actually say, "You can walk. Come on now." And guess what? Day two ICU, he actually got down from the bed and started walking. Yeah, to the point uh, that the nurses and doctors were applauding uh, because they had never seen something like this before. Yeah. So again, back to that question. Okay. How long do you think uh, that it would take uh, for somebody to recuperate? Uh, yeah? How long would he have to stay in the hospital, you think? This is, you see, is really major. Uh, so we just wanted to show you. Okay? <clears throat> now, on the 10th or the 11th, uh, 10th was his surgery, right? Um, usually, uh, you know, major surgery, you think what? Um, one month? Two months? Stay in the hospital? But right, yeah, at least. Uh, okay, who say who say less than one month? Anyone? No, right? Okay. He was discharged. So the, the surgery was what on the 10th, right? He was discharged on the 19th. How many days is that? Nine days. Okay. Then not only that, uh, on the 20th. Yeah? He actually came, you know, I, I was at a manager workshop, I was sitting in front. I didn't know, because, you know, there was also a manager recognition. He walked to the front and he said, Oi! <laughs> I was so shocked to see him, you know. Okay. So on the 20th, he came to receive his manager's certificate by himself. Okay. And then, on the 21st, okay, because we had this mega OPP, he was there also and he stayed, you know, for almost the entire day. Yeah. So look at this, huh? almost on a day-to-day -day basis, can you see, already see yeah, the difference here? Okay, so from 11 January, the first day, you know, where he woke up, okay? Let me show you, huh? So, one month later. Got difference, huh? Yeah? 10 February, yeah? Not only that, huh? Let me show you another one. On the 22nd February, he accompanied us to JB because he shared with quite a lot of people there. So he wanted to go there. So he was actually in the meeting, you know. <laughs> yeah, he sat with us for how many hours? Uh, from lunchtime, you know, until about 4 p.m. Yeah, and then after that, he went, you know, to see other people. And the reason why he's not here, look good, by the way. Yeah, look excellent, right? So the reason why he's not here is because he's in China. Yeah, so. January, major surgery, 
now and then he went to JB one month later and then now he's in China. I don't know whether in between you know he went somewhere else or not. Yeah. <clears throat> so we just wanted to encourage a lot of people and he agreed, you know, for us to share this story because you know he is so thankful okay, uh, with LifeWave and how LifeWave has helped him um, you know to, to recover so quickly. Okay, so with that I'm gonna uh,